Arriving at Cardiff Crown Court, supported by his friends and family, Gasfit as Scott Stewart knew he was facing a likely jail sentence. Last month, Stewart pleaded guilty to the manslaughter of 14-year-old Alex Mitchell after he admitted he was unqualified to fit the gas heater which caused the youngster's death from carbon monoxide poison. The court heard Stewart had failed to carry out vital checks on the equipment which he had installed just three months before Alex's mum, Anne, returned home to find her daughter dead. Inside the court, Mr Justice Roderick Evans jailed Stewart for two years but said no sentence could ever bring Alex back. Um, I think it's acceptable given the uh, circumstances. Mr Stewart did not set out with the intention of taking Alex Mitchell's life um, and obviously the sentence reflects that. Mrs Mitchell expressed anger at the length of the sentence, insisting Stewart's jail term should have been at least four years. These judges are disengaged from normal society. And how would they feel if they left the courtroom, turned the key in the door and found their son or daughter dead on the floor? All you've got to stand up and do is say sorry, cry, cry a couple of crocodile tears. He's crying for himself, because if he had a conscience, he wouldn't have done it in the first place. This is just a small part of my impact statement that I'm going to read now. This is how it's left us and this is what the judge has read in court. Where Alex was concerned, the enormity of what has happened has changed me beyond recognition as it has my family. I cannot allow myself to feel or I'm in floods of tears. I sleep for two or three hours a night and dream we are together again in days past, reliving happy times. Then wake and the feelings of despair all envelop me as Alex dies again.